Tongiasis, commonly known as sand flea disease, is a parasitic skin condition with roots in the Americas. The prevalence of tongiasis is deeply embedded in the local cultures of many countries across the Americas, as reflected in the rich tapestry of local designations for the disease. In some regions, tongiasis has not only persisted but has also become an integral part of local folklore, attesting to its long-standing presence and impact on communities. The geographical distribution of tongiasis in the Americas spans a wide range of countries, including Mexico, Honduras, Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Paraguay, Argentina, Haiti, Barbados, and Trinidad. Brazil, with reports from Amazonia State in the north to Rio Grande do Sul State in the south, stands out for its extensive occurrence of tungiasis. Community-based studies in resource-poor rural and urban areas of Brazil, Haiti, and Trinidad Tobago have revealed shockingly high prevalence rates, ranging from 10.6% to 82.6% in the general population. Particularly concerning is the heightened frequency of tungiasis in Amerindian populations residing in the Amazon, Orinoco lowlands of Colombia and Venezuela. In these communities, tungiasis is associated with severe morbidity, potentially leading to fatal outcomes, as observed in children under the age of 1, where the prevalence reaches 2%. The intensity of transmission in resource-poor settings is vividly illustrated by a study in a favela in Fortaleza, northeast Brazil. Individuals entering the community after a period outside the endemic area invariably became infected within three weeks, experiencing an average attack rate of 15 fleas per person per week. Transmission patterns are often peridomiciliary, with intradomiciliary transmission occurring when houses lack solid floors allowing domestic animals to freely move in and out. In Amerindian communities, the entire life cycle of the parasite can unfold inside the house. The consequences of tungiasis extend beyond the initial discomfort caused by the embedded female sand fleas, leading to an intense inflammatory response, pain, and itching. Bacterial superinfections are common and exacerbate the inflammation, posing a constant risk of tetanus in non-immunized individuals. With repeated infections, chronic pathology develops, characterized by hyperkeratosis, edema around the nail rim, fissures, ulcers, and eventually, deformation and loss of nails. This chronic progression results in a pattern of disabilities, ultimately leading to partial or total immobility, with children, persons with disabilities, and the elderly bearing the highest burden of the disease. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and activate the notification bell if you wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.